to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. It is, what time is it? 4.30 p.m. This is Brandon when he was a baby in Jamaica. Isn't he so cute? I just want to eat him up, eat him up. He's so cute. What is that? Oh, it's the iOS telling me I need to update my phone. Anyway, so today we are going to be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me, like I said. I feel like I haven't had a chance to really speak to you guys and kind of update you on my life. And I was doing really well with getting the videos up like frequently, but I've just been so busy lately and I thought, you know what, this is the perfect chance for us to just reconnect. I love doing these every once in a while so that we can just get back on board. You guys can find out what's going on with me. And bada boom, bada bing, we're back into the swing of things. So we are going to be doing I don't know what look yet. Um, Brandon was supposed to go out with his friends tonight for sushi, and um, I'm really close with Brandon's friends. Like I know all of them really well, so they invited me to boys' night, which I felt was like such an honor. Uh, so I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna go." So we're going to sushi tonight, and obviously I wouldn't usually wear like a really like you know va va voom look to sushi, but the thing is, I haven't really done my makeup in a really long time, and I kind of want to just do a look that's not like every day. I kind of want to go a little bit more like. I don't know, not like s crazy smoky eye, but I may get there, so I shouldn't say that, but I just want to do something that makes me look put together because I haven't really done like a really full out go hard look in a really long time. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And I really, oh, I really want to use the Gwen Stefani palette because I only used it one time and I used this color, so I don't want to use that color this time. I want to do something really va va boom with this palette because I just got it and I still want to play with it. So I haven't even taken off the plastic on the mirror here. Okay, so enough babbling. Let's just get into this. I don't know if you guys can see right here, but I have sweat beads on my face because it is so insanely hot. Like, I mean, I would take the hot over the cold any day. Honestly, I live in Canada, for those of you who don't know, I'm really close to Toronto, like in the GTA. And when it is cold in the winter, oh my gosh, you honestly feel like you're, like you feel the cold in your bones. It just pierces through your bones. It is freezing. It's a cold that, oh, like I can't even describe to you how bad it is. But when it is hot, oh my God, it's hot. And it's so hard. It's like we don't have a happy medium. Like why can't we just have a really nice medium? I blasted the AC, but... I don't hear it, so it's probably not on and I'm too lazy to run back downstairs because honestly, I want to do no physical activity in this heat. When I run up the stairs in my house and the heat like hits me, I swear to God, I'm so, I'm panting. If my mom calls me to the kitchen and I go downstairs and I come back up, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. like I, I need a minute to just recoup because it is like exercise in the desert and nobody does that. Okay, so I just primed my eyes with my Urban Decay eyeshadow potion primer, whatever this is, the original one. I'm going to go in with the color 19. 87 all over my lid. I really like this color because it looks exactly like my skin tone and it reminds me a lot of Fawn by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So what's new with you guys? Uh, Brendan and I booked a trip. We are going to Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> um, I'm super excited. I have never been to Vegas. And I am just so super excited. We're going from December 9th to December 13th. And we're basically there for like four nights, five days. We're staying at Caesars Palace. And um, I'm just really excited. I've heard amazing things. And guys, this is the part I'm so excited about. So, so, so excited about. I am a huge fan huge 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 JLo fan like huge JLo fan and I was introduced to JLo when she was Selena so I remember being a little girl and I remember being at my cousin's house and Selena was coming on and at that time I think I wanted to watch like a cooking show I love watching cooking shows I love Food Network ever since I was a little girl and so um I wanted to watch and she's like no like a movie's gonna come on you know she's a lot older than me and she's like I want you to you know watch that and I was like oh I was like upset I didn't want to watch it oh my god but the movie was Selena and honestly guys oh I just fell in love with JLo at the time I was a little girl so I didn't know that JLo wasn't Selena I thought her name was Selena and I remember I think I was in like grade two and I remember going to school like the next day on you know the next week or the Monday or whatever and saying oh I love Selena you know like I'm just obsessed with her but obviously she had passed away by that time because this was a movie about her life and then I remember that song um if you had my love and I gave you all my trust that song what's it called is it that I don't know. Anyways, that was like JLo's like song that came out. And I remember there was like this little girl and she was dancing in the video and I was like, I want to be that little girl. I just 
was obsessed with JLo and then ever since then I've just been obsessed with her I think she is beyond gorgeous like she is fine she is fine 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 <laughs> I just think she's beautiful and like she just turned 47 and she looks better than me she's had two kids and she looks better than me her body's banging like when I look at her and it's funny that we're talking about this because when I look at like her and then I've seen like a lot of pictures of Kim Kardashian on Instagram lately I don't follow the Kardashians but I do have them on like my feed that comes up and when I see their bodies and how amazing they look after having children I'm like what the hell I don't even have a baby I've never had a baby and I do not look like that and it's like I look pregnant because I have food inside my stomach anyways they just look fantastic and it really has motivated me because guys from my wedding okay so for my wedding I lost 40 pounds guys so when Brandon proposed to me I lost 40 pounds from when he proposed to me to our wedding date I have put on 30 pounds back since our wedding our wedding was April 8th today is July what's today July 29th can you believe that that's how much weight I've put on like I know the weight is different because I am much stronger than I was when um, Brandon proposed to me like it was all fat before and I know a lot of it is muscle now too but still that is an insane amount of weight to put on so I'm trying to get back into it and I'm just looking at pictures of them and I'm thinking you know what this is my motivation I have to get there and in April Brandon and I want to go to Bora Bora to celebrate our one-year anniversary and I want to wear my wedding dress on my one-year wedding anniversary that is my goal I'm publicly stating it because that is my goal and I'm going to do it but I'm gonna cut out like the bottom of the dress um, because I don't want to have that poof so if you guys saw my wedding pictures like on Instagram it had like a poof at the bottom I'm gonna cut it out and just make it like a tomb top dress it doesn't look as like fancy smancy it doesn't look like I'm walking around with like a bridal dress it'll still look very extravagant because of the lace and the beading but it, it'll just be more wearable oh my god I've been talking for so long I've like done nothing with my makeup okay I'm gonna go into the color punk and I'm just gonna place that on a blending brush very lightly tap off the excess and work that into my crease that is the plan that we're gonna go to Bora Bora but anyway so Vegas in December, super, super excited. I cannot wait. So we're planning to see JLo. We're planning to go to Cirque du Soleil, um, the show called Ka. Um, then I made reservation at like Gordon Ramsay Steak. Probably gonna do the Caesars Brunch Buffet. I heard that was really good. If you guys have ever been to Vegas or you have any tips for Vegas or even Bora Bora because that's where we're going in April, leave them in the comment section down below because I would love to see like what you guys have done. And um, if that sounds really fun, then I'll add it to what we're doing. We're probably going to go to one club. Um, it doesn't seem like a lot is happening when we're going because it's like kind of an off season in Vegas. So we'll probably just go to like, you know, a club just to experience it. But I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Brandon's not much of a clubber. He's not much of like a going out party, you know, get drunk, you know, get high kind of person. Actually, we, we both don't smoke and we don't get high and we both don't drink. I've never been a drinker. Even when I was in high school, I was always DD. I was always the designated driver. I was always the one who kind of took care of everyone. I mean, I love to go out and I love to party, but I just don't enjoy drinking. And I've never been someone to go out and just drink because someone's told me to drink. In fact, I I hardly ever do things because people tell me to do them. I'm not that kind of person. So I've never really ever got in drunk or, you know, like drank. I have had alcohol, but no, I'm not really much of a drinker and neither is Brandon. So that works out really well because our bills at restaurants are always much cheaper than other people who go out and drink. But yeah, so he's not much of a clubber. I'm definitely someone to go out and party. The thing is, I can drink a can of Coke and I can get as drunk as someone who's had like five beers. I'm being totally honest. Coke just gets me so high. That's like my, my like, just like alcohol of choice. And it's not even alcohol. It's like a pop. I mean, Coke, like, you know, the Coke can, not any other type of Coke. So, <laughs> So yeah, so I go out and I drink Coke and I'm just like bouncing off the walls just because of the sugar and everyone else is like, how much has she had to drink? And you know, Brandon's like, nothing, that's just how she is. <laughs> this will be fun, we'll do one night of clubbing and I think well, that will be enough for us. And this weekend is actually Caravan Weekend and I usually go out every Caravan Weekend because I just love to party and get my fit on. Usually I go with my friends because Brandon's not much of a clubber, but it's hard going out when you're a girl and a guy's not with you, I feel. Like I feel first of all that sometimes when Brandon's with me, the guys are still disgusting and still come up on me and still want to dance with me and he's standing right there with me. But it's like even harder when he's not there because it's like I just want to go, I just want to 
want to dance, I want to have fun time with my girls, and it's like all of these disgusting little creepy men, you know, are always on you, and they're always coming to dance with you, and it's like every two seconds I have to kind of go, okay, no, okay, no, oh, and I just keep pushing them off, and it's like, oh, this is so annoying. This year I decided that, you know, it was just too much, and honestly, I'm just too fat and too ugly right now to go out anywhere, so I'm like, you know what, I'm not going, but next year I want to play in the actual parade. I've never played in mass you know that's when you put on the costume and you go down the street and do the dancing whatever I've never done it so next year is my year I plan on doing it then okay I lied I said I'm only gonna use the Gwen Stefani palette but I want to keep it all matte so I need a few more options so I'm gonna use the Morphe brushes Jaclyn Hill palette as well and I'm gonna use the same brush for all of this I want to intensify my crease a little more and add a bit more depth so I'm gonna go into this color right here it's like a really nice like reddish, burgundy-ish type of brownish color. -ish 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 -ish. <laughs> so I'm just going to place that in the crease as well underneath. Brent and I love traveling. We absolutely love it. But just because of our jobs and obviously it's expensive to travel, we have to kind of pace ourselves. So we do about three trips a year. This year we did, you know, Jamaica obviously for our wedding. We just came back from North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, and in... December we're going to do Vegas. Then next year our plan is April Bora Bora, um, November Oklahoma to visit Brennan's family for American Thanksgiving. And then in July or August we're probably going to do a trip with Brennan's cousin and his family, the one who we see like every single year. We see them at least once a year, sometimes even more than that. Okay, so I want to hear what shows you guys have been watching. I've recently picked up on my shows again, so I finished, I'm caught up with the Mindy Project. One of the nicest compliments I've ever received in my life is the fact that somebody once commented on my video saying that I remind them of Mindy Kaling. And in my wedding video, we had like this wedding, um, like confessional with all of our really close family and friends. And actually, I'm going to do like a whole wedding video, so I'll, you'll hear more about that later on. But... One of Brandon's friends, actually the one that we're going to have sushi with tonight, said that I reminded him of Mindy Kaling. And, like, that is the best, nicest, sweetest thing anyone has ever said to me. Like, she's my spirit animal, okay? I'm obsessed with her. I'm really caught up on Netflix. Watching stuff on Netflix is just so much easier than having to find it online because I just feel like it's so easy. It's right there. No ads. It's just, like, click of a button and you're in. So, I love it. We steal Brandon's dad's account because he pays the $8 and then we just have profiles on it. So, it works out perfectly because it's, like, free for us. <laughs> Um, what are parents for, right? Also, Scream. I talked about this before. Season 2 is out. It's basically um, a show about the movie Scream on Netflix. It's like a Netflix original. One of my favorite, favorite shows. So good. I was at the gym the other day, and I don't know how... Oh, I'll tell you how it happened. I was at the gym the other day, and my gym trainer, the owner of the gym, had put up, like, these really cool lights, like, on the ceiling, like, string lights. And so she just, you know, put them up, and then all of a sudden she goes, oh, you know, um, this reminds me of Footloose. And, like, I'm probably one of the younger people at that gym. It's a smaller gym. It's more of, like, a class-based gym. There's no, like, you know, machines or anything like that. Um, I was like, oh, like, what's Footloose? And everybody kind of looked at me, like, what the heck? And then, um... Everyone's like, wait, you've never seen Footloose? And then they're like, you've, and then I said, yeah, I've never seen Footloose. I've never seen Dirty Dancing. I've never seen like, you know, um, Grease. What else did I say? Never seen like Pretty Woman, Pretty in Pink, uh, you know, whatever. And they were making so much fun of me. They're just like, what the heck? And I was just like, oh my God. So I decided that the, for the next little while, I'm going to catch up on all the classics. So, you know, like all of those ones that I just mentioned. And then I found The Breakfast Club on Netflix. So I watched that. I found Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I'm halfway done that. And I'm just going to watch all of the classics so that I'm caught up and I know what the heck everyone's talking about. Because I've never seen any of those movies. So if you haven't either, you better watch them with me. And before you tell anyone that you haven't watched them, watch them. Because... People will rip you apart. They ripped me apart, guys. They were just like, what the heck? It's It was funny. It was actually very funny. But I just, you know, I was apparently missing out on, you know, generations of classic movies. I actually really like the combination that these two colors made. It's like a really, like, brownish, purpley color. I could get with this program. Okay, I'm going to go into this color right here on just a regular shader brush to place on my eyelid to lighten that up a bit. Today I'm off work and Monday is a holiday so it became a four day long weekend for me. We're sleeping at my sister's house tonight and Brandon's brother and Brandon's brother's girlfriend are gonna come sleep over there as well. And then tomorrow we're all going with Brandon's cousin to Bruce Peninsula. We're gonna go 
Uh, basically just spend the day there. I don't know if we're gonna sleep over. We tried to book a room, but it was just sold out. And Bruce Peninsula is like this really nice, um, it has like beautiful clear water. It's in Ontario and it's just a really nice place to check out. We've never been, but we just keep seeing like so many great things about it that we're like, okay, we have to go. It's so funny how fast the days are going faster and faster and it's just like, I need life to slow down because I'm honestly at that point in my life where I'm just, I'm so happy and I just feel like just, awesome like about life and I just don't want it to end and like I look at Brandon and I'm like I never want to be separated from you you know I never want us to die um you know because it's just like you're so happy you don't want you know life to change everything's just really good and it's like the more that it's going faster and faster I'm like slow down please like I don't want to wake up and be 80 and be like oh my god I'm gonna croak soon like <laughs> okay I'm gonna take this color right here this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Plum and just this smudger brush from Morphe this is the M326 I just want to intensify the crease and outer corner area so I'm just gonna place that on obviously as you can see I'm being like quite messy about it I just put up our wedding pictures on my Facebook the other day and everyone's like commenting on them and they really like the pictures but I don't know how to share them with you guys because I don't want to bombard my Instagram with all these wedding pictures but I don't also have a website like I have a blog that I used before but like it's so stupid it's like one of those Google blogs but I don't know what to do like I wanted to have a website for a while just so I could do like you know like updates and things like that but I don't have one and I don't know how to show you guys the pictures unless I upload the pictures onto my Facebook my for this makeup account I could do that but it took forever so maybe I'll just upload like the main pictures um, or share the album from my account maybe I'll do that anyways check out my Facebook I'll, I'll most likely put it on there and as soon as it does go live I'll put like a link on my snapchat and on my Instagram and my Twitter to let you guys know to go check them out because I know a bunch of you have wanted to see my, our wedding pictures um, if you're not following me on those areas, wink wink, you better because something important is coming up on Snapchat giveaway. Yeah, so I'm going to do a Snapchat giveaway soon. I have a lot of makeup. I don't need all that makeup, so I'm going to give it to you. Also, I haven't done my 3,000 subscriber giveaway yet, and now we're at like 3,600 subscribers. One thing I want to know from you guys is I want you guys to tell me what videos you want to see. I know skincare video, the, and I, let me just explain. The reason I haven't done my skincare video is because the sun has made my skin a little crazy so I was kind of waiting to have it while my skin just kind of went back to how it normally is but if you guys comment below and tell me that you want to see my skincare video regardless I will do that for you I promise you so that's coming up I know someone wanted to do like a vlog type of video that will come up uh, do you guys want to see like a what I eat in a day I don't know I love watching those I didn't know if you guys would be interested in that let me know um, what other video morning routine nighttime routine but if there's any other like specific type of video like I don't know if you guys are sick of only seeing makeup tutorials I love makeup tutorials that's what I live for but if there's any other type of video you want to see let a girl know won't you gonna go in with my eyebrow stuff now one of the reasons honestly that I didn't film for a while was because my eyebrows were so bad and my eyebrow lady the one that I only go to she was away on vacation she went to California so I was like waiting like tick tock tick tock tick tock where are you when are you coming back and then finally she came back this week I got my eyebrows done I got my mustache done it was so bad guys like when I'm at work <laughs> I work with like a lot of guys obviously and women but like when I'm at work and I have to sit beside someone and I know that like I have a mustache because I haven't like threaded my upper lip in so long, it's so hard for me not to like sit there and think, oh my god, are they staring at like the hairs that are just like growing out of my face? Like it's so awkward. And Brandon always goes, oh, it does, you can't tell, like, you know, whatever. But it's like, he's a boy. He doesn't even tell. I could come home tomorrow with blonde hair, and he would not even pay attention. He would just be like, oh, hey, babe, what's up? Like, he does not pay attention. Things just fly by him. So I was like, okay, I'm not taking your advice for it. So I was so, so, so happy when she came back. And I had a clear upper lip, no mustache. Nobody could mistake me for a man. Everything was right with the world again. I love when I have days off. And you know I'm home alone during that day because I feel like I get so much work done like today I went to give blood I cleaned our bathroom I cleaned our room I cleaned and organized my closet I did three loads of laundry um, I went and got ice cream obviously <laughs> honestly guys I'm gonna be 100% honest the belly that I have the weight that I put on is solely the responsibility and the pure cause of the fact that I have eaten ice cream every single day since I've been married every single day I've had ice cream like I'm just obsessed and I'm basically 
pregnant, you know, I have a food baby. We can call him Oliver. Um, so Oliver, my food baby, consists of mint chocolate chip, a little bit of Jamocha almond fudge, um, a little bit of Rocky Road, and a whole lot of this like special gelato that they sell near my house called Bacho Truffle and it is delicious. And that's what my food baby is made of. It was conceived over the past four months and I really hope that I get rid of it, aka it's due date, by the end of the year. My goal is to lose um, 40 pounds by the end of the year and then lose like another probably like, depending on what I look like at that point um, before April because I have to fit back into my wedding dress but I also want to get to the point where I'm happy with like my body. I'm not ready to have kids yet I need like at least two or three more years with Brandon, just us. So I want to look like smoking hot banging, you know, like, yeah, yeah, I get it, girl, get it. Like my goal in life, I'm going to tell you right now, I have a goal in life. It consists of two things. My goal in life is to be a vampire and or a MILF. The chances of a vampire happening are very slim. There are some, but very, very slim. So I'm leaning towards the MILF. That's my goal in life. Um, you know, and then I can die happy if that happens. <laughs> Obviously I have other goals guys, come on, let's not be silly. On a happy note about my eyebrows, they are going back to what they were before that lady jacked them up, so I'm getting happy about that. Still have some areas of places I feel bad about, like this tail end right here, um, but for the most part, they are getting there. Okay, I'm gonna do some eyeliner, I haven't done, I haven't used my Tarte eyeliner in so long and I'm like obsessed with this eyeliner. Okay guys, I can't speak, sorry. Eyeliner is one of those things. It can sense my fear, senses when I'm not paying attention, so I gotta give it my all. Oh, guess what guys? Yesterday, Brandon and I went to go see Matilda the Musical. For those of you who are way younger than me, maybe you don't know the movie Matilda, but God, I love that movie so, so, so good. To be honest, I think I liked the movie more than the musical. The girl, like I mean, she's 10 years old and she was able to do this part of singing and dancing and all that stuff, so. Really, really good show, but I think I still prefer the movie to the musical. Ugh, I forgot to wet my beauty blender. Mm. Okay, so I just applied some MAC Peach Luster Color Corrector on my skin, and I'm blending that out with my beauty blender. I'm gonna use my MAC Studio Water Weight SPF 30 foundation. I love this foundation. Actually, I'm gonna do some strobing cream before I go in with that. So this is the strobe cream from MAC. I'm just gonna take a little bit, like you just need a little bit of this stuff. It is so potent. Like that's all, I don't know if you guys can see it. That's all I'm taking. And I'm going to just place that on my cheekbones, on the top. And whatever's left, I'll just Go down the bridge of my nose. I feel like a chemist when I use this foundation with this dropper. Dotting it all over my skin before I start going out and blending. And I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm using a very, very light layer of foundation because if I want to go back in and add more, then I will. But I'm going to start off with a very very light layer and I'm focusing the foundation like across here and not so much in the areas that I would apply my concealer because I'm going in with concealer there anyways oh I wanted to ask you guys something would you guys want to see like a Q&A video so basically you ask me questions whether it be about makeup or my life or basically anything you can ask me about the creation of the universe and I would answer it if you do want to see a Q&A video hmm how should we do this okay if you want to see a Q&A video, tweet me at Ruth Archin. Anyways, my Twitter link is down below in the description box. Tweet me a question and use the hashtag AskRuthChin. Hold on. Let's see if that hashtag is in use by something else because I don't want, like, it to be like, you know, like sometimes people put up hashtags and then it ends up being like you're, like, linking to a porno site or something and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to tweet out that hashtag and then click it. Okay, zero results, perfect. So this is the hashtag we're gonna use. Hashtag AskRuthRChin. I'll link it on the screen, AskRuthRChin. Leave whatever question, like just tweet it to me, and then I will do a Q&A video if that's what you guys want to see. Okay, foundation is done. Now we're going on to concealer. I'm also going to do my contouring at the same time, and because I put on a girl, 
I need to contour a lot. If you guys want to see like an in-depth contour and highlight video, let me know and I can do one that like really focuses on the tips and tricks I use, especially now because I put on so much weight, how I try to slim down my face with contouring and highlighting. Okay, I'm going to blend out the highlighter first with, oh crap, I went over my eyeliner. That's okay. Mm, so annoying. That's what happens when I talk and do my makeup. <laughs> I feel like if you didn't have a Halloween costume and you wanted to be like a tribal person or whatever, like a jungle person, you could just put on highlighter and contour and you would look exactly like that. Like it always makes me look so tribal. I think this concealer is getting so light for me because my skin is getting so tanned. Now we're going to blend out the contour. Today my sister sent me this like emoji. I think it's called like bit emoji. It's of her like going like this, like dabbing. Is this how you dab? How do you dab? I don't really know how it works, is it? I don't know, but dab? Is that a dab? Dab? Anyways, I don't really know what dabbing is. I don't know where it originated from. I uh, have no idea why you would dab. What do you do? What does that mean when you go like this? Does it mean something? I don't know. I am so old, I feel. I'm 24 years old. I'll be 25 in December. And I don't understand why I'm not cool anymore. And I don't know like all these sayings and these dances. I want to go back to those days where I was like cool and knew everything and knew all the lingo and was like, put please. Like, okay, when my day, when I, <laughs> when I was a teenager, uh, the things people would say was, this pissed me off. I hated when people would use this word. They would say arms. Like, that's so arms. And it, that's supposed to mean, like, that's so mean. And I would hate it. I thought that was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But things that, like, we used to say growing up, like, um, sick, you know, was cool. <laughs> so that, oh, that's sick. <laughs> or, um, oh, dis, like, dis, like, you know, like, dis, or whatever. Uh, what else did we say? I don't know why I can't remember, but I didn't say fleek. Like, that's new. I feel weird saying fleek. I feel like when I say it, it's like, why would I talk like that? Why would I say that? And I feel like I don't know how to use it in a sentence properly. Pretty on fleek. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just with some eyeliner. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna intensify the eyes just a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Plum, this one again. I'm gonna take it on that blending brush and I'm just going to place it right here where the eyeliner meets like the outer V. You see, girl? You see how that intensifies? Go in with this color right here. This is Hazelnut from the Smashbox Lytho Palette, one of my favorite highlight colors. Works so well with colored skin tones. I'm gonna use it as my highlight. It's like an eraser, magically just cleans everything up. You know what product I can't wait to get, but I'm waiting till Sephora has their 20% off sale is the Custom Cover FX Drops. Everyone is talking about them, obviously. I think one of the hardest things about being me doing YouTube videos is like I do this for fun, but I wish that I could do more videos I wish that I could talk about more products and you know play with different things But I mean I buy all of the makeup myself Nobody's sending me any makeup or any products for free This is stuff that I'm going out and I'm using my money <laughs> to go out and buy so it's hard because I cannot be Spending money on makeup all the time and before I guess you know when I was single It was different because as long as I saved what I was supposed to save I could do whatever with my money, but it's like, you know, now we have bills and now we have to save for a future and a family and, you know, I can't be wasting my money on makeup anymore. And it sucks because I there's so many times that I want to go out and get a product and do a tutorial on it or stuff like that, but it's like I can't really do that all the time. I have to use what I have just because it's life and, you know, this is not my job. I go to a regular 8 to 4 job every Monday to Friday. You know, I hope that one day it becomes my job. I think that would be so cool and I think I would invest a lot of time into it because I love doing this so much that we'll see it depends on how many subscribers I get right <laughs> but yeah so it's hard because I definitely want to do more like product stuff for you but anyways if there are stuff that you want me to review and things like that let me know because I will buy them when Sephora has the 20% off sale so that at least it helps a bit with me saving money I'm just gonna spray my face quickly with some Mac fix plus this really helps after you've done all your powder because it just helps the makeup blend because like right now I can see that I'm a bit dry and I can tell that it looks powdery like around my nose area and around certain areas but as soon as I go in with this mist it just kind of makes everything melt into my skin and it looks a lot more natural. Ooh, it's mister! Hello? Hi baby. I'm filming. 
I'm filming. Okay. I'll be home in half an hour. Okay, can't wait to see you. Love you. Bye, babe. Bye. He's coming out. Okay, brought you guys in a little bit closer. Okay, for blush, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild blush called 834E Berry Shimmer. I'm going to go in with an angled brush from Sigma. I don't like this blush. Mm, it's too pink. Okay, I got to tone this down. I'm going to go in with this Estee Lauder Michael Kors blush and just place that on top. It's highlight time. Mm -mm. Everybody loves the palette. I'm gonna use this. I love this. This is my hourglass ambient lighting palette. I just mix colors from all three. I'm first gonna focus this on areas where I would naturally highlight the skin. So the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, but you can honestly use this everywhere. Just lightens up. The skin. I like using it on a fluffier brush to be honest because I feel like it distributes the product a lot better. So I'm actually going to go in on this big fluffer brush and blend everything on my skin together before I go in with highlight. Everything's going to look a lot more natural this way. Which highlight did I pick up here? Champagne Pop. Okay, I guess I'll use Champagne Pop. So I'm going to go in with Champagne Pop, just pick it up and dab that. <laughs> Got it? Got what I did there? <laughs> On just where I would naturally highlight the skin. And I'm going to place some underneath the brow bone as well. Keep it the bow and then just on my chin. Ah! No! No, I just dug some out. Why, Jesus, why? Now I have to do my lower lash line, and usually I would go in with the same color, but I want to try something new, but I'm scared it's going to look really bad because I have to go out with this because Brandon's going to be here really soon. So I don't know what to do. Should I try it? And then if it doesn't look good, just rock it? Hmm, I think so. So I want to use one of my Jane eyeliners. So these are the two colors that I want to use. I know this seems really weird, but I really want to use this one, but I don't know how good it will look. Don't know. I know this one will look good for sure. Okay, I'll use this in my inner corner. This is the Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner in the color Rose Gold. Just drawing that in there. It's really nice and metallic, so it'll stay all night. But should I... You know what? I'm going to try it. Mmm, no. <laughs> Let's see, I'll just do a little bit on the end and see. You know what, screw it, I'm gonna do it. There's no rules, I can't make up my own rules. Oh, crying, crying, Oh, I hate watery eyes. Ugh, oh, curse you, watery eyes. Anybody else have watery eyes? Oh, this sucks. I could never understand how when I watch like, you know, YouTube tutorials or when I watch tutorials just in general, or watch people getting their makeup done, they never cry when the people put their eyeliner on. And I'm like, what the hell? What kind of sorcery are you doing? Because I ball. I, looking at an eyeliner, I start bawling. My eyes just start watering like crazy. It's like freaking Niagara Falls in my eyes. You know what? I like the pop of color. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Jane eyeshadow. It's literally exactly the same color, I think. Like, they look identical. Like, come on. Oh, this one's a bit darker, but whatever. I'm gonna go in with that smudger brush from Morphe. Just wipe it off on the back of my hand and then just dip that in and kind of add that to my waterline. I just want to set like that inner corner because I feel like the eyeliner is going to crease and it's not going to look pretty. So I'm going to go in with this brush from e.l.f. It's a contour brush and I'm going to find a color from the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. I will pick the color Trick. I'm just going to go over where we put that eyeliner. And this is just going to help set it so it doesn't look so creasy afterwards. Oh my god, guys, I totally forgot to tell you. So I've had 20-20 vision my whole life, and I went to the doctor the other day, and he told me that I do not have 20-20 vision anymore. So I did go to, um, like, an eye place, basically, and I got glasses. I got these gorgeous like gorgeous Dior sunglasses that I've never seen anything like them before but they're coming in the mail and then I just got these like tortoise 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 
<laughs> uh, style glasses. So you guys are gonna probably see that in one of my new like tutorials of me wearing glasses. But I only need it. Like I can see fine. It's just my prescription is so small. It's like it's like point zero something. It's literally for when I do reports at work because I have like a, over a hundred thousand lines when I'm at work. So um, the reports are all on like Excel and it's very like the lines are so small that I need to kind of just have a little bit more focus. It really strains my eyes and it hurts me like right here. So I'm only going to use them for when I'm using the computer and you know like doing stuff at work. But when I come home and when I'm filming I probably won't use them. I'm going into like the Sephora. What kind of I don't know what line this is from, but it's just like a Sephora lipstick in the color number four. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Thank you for getting ready with me. I'm gonna do my hair really quickly and then put on some clothes because once again, I'm not wearing pants. I hope you guys know that every tutorial that I film, every video I film, I don't wear pants, just a top. <laughs> is that TMI? <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Don't ever forget you are so beautiful. Bye, guys.